Can you stop chasing your tail for a minute? Hey, Micah? Micah? Hey, should we go out to the garage? Should we go out to the garage? Should we go work on the car? Hey, what do you think? Or would you rather just chase your tail? Alright, you chase your tail. And I'm going to go to the garage. Alright? Good. guys, Tosh coming at you, 7.20, Monday, March 19th, and uh, back on the TR250 tonight, we'll do a, a bit of a power hour out here, and uh, I mentioned that I was going to do the, uh, the sill to body tub mounts on my last video, but I think we're going to pass those by temporarily, and we'll come back to them, we'll do all four at the same time, so I'll move a little bit forward on the car. And we're going to clean up some welding repairs here. We'll add a bit more weld where needed. Same with this patch here. It's not too bad, but we'll just clean it up a little bit. We're going to fix this area down here. We've got a rusted out area. So we've got to create a new piece of metal for this area down here that attaches to the uh, top of this uh, floor flange. Then we're going to finish weld this seam here. This is a new piece of metal that we put in uh, underneath the uh, brake and clutch master cylinder. So we're going to repair this area and weld this in along this seam all the way down. We're going to clean this up a little bit. A bit of a pinhole here we've got to deal with as well. We'll probably put a seam weld across here as well to seal that up. And probably do a little bit more welding repair cleanup on this area here. So that should keep me busy for at least a couple hours. So let's start on this repair area here. All right, so we've got this uh, patch cleaned up. We're just going to run, like I said, another bead of weld across here. And we're going to do a little bead of weld here. We replace this uh, floor drop on the inside. So we'll, this actually looks pretty good, but we'll just uh, throw another quick bead of weld on, here, on there while we're here. update for you guys just coming up to nine o'clock we've now got that seam all fully welded up and down here as well we've done some uh, repairs here some repairs here and some repairs up here so those are all looking better so I think what we'll do now is we'll uh, focus on repairing this area down here you can see where I've described a line we're gonna cut this here and get up to some good metal we've got a few spot welds to drill here on this flange to release it plus some uh, welding here that we're going to have to grind off so we'll get out of the cutting wheel and we'll cut this off carefully hey good evening guys touch coming at you 602 thursday march 22nd and uh, back on the tr250 this evening and i'm not quite sure where i left off i know i was having issues with the camera the last time i tried to uh use it it was not uh responding to me pressing the button at all so that was a bit of a problem and if some of you might have noticed that um, the sound quality is not the uh, best lately on this camera it keeps uh, phasing in and out on the uh, microphone so I think it's time for a new 
digital video camera. They don't last very long in this garage environment, unfortunately. I think I've gone through four or five cameras since I started uh, vlogging out here in the garage. But anyway, here's where we left off. Uh, this piece here we had removed. It's uh, seen better days. It's uh, quite rusty and it's missing a whole piece of the bottom of this uh, art and this goes something like this we're supposed to go something like this so we are going to rebuild this piece we're going to grind off what's left of this flange and I believe if I put this back up here that flange is going to have to extend down a little bit to pick up the uh, where the bottom piece has rusted away so uh, I've also got some scrappy metal down here that needs to be ground off this looks like the remnants maybe of uh, who knows the original kickboard possibly or another patch that was put over top anyway it's just sort of a scab that's sitting on here so we're gonna grind this off it looks like there's even more metal in behind there so anyway we'll get to the bottom of that I'm not real happy with this repair here Obviously, they uh, disregarded the pressings in this piece and didn't care too much about what it looked like as long as there was uh, fairly good metal in here. You can see how poorly they've even patched this area. Look at basically where this rusted away and they've just sort of scabbed in a piece of metal, you know, without even squaring this off. They just scabbed in a piece of metal behind, it looks like. But hey, that's par for the course for this car. I'm not going to complain about it. No sense crying over spilt milk, as they say. We'll just try to make it uh, a little better than it is currently. Anyway, so like I said, back to here. We're going to grind this scabby piece of metal off. We're going to repair this uh, structural piece here. Fix up this flange. We'll make a new uh, piece of metal for this. And maybe I'll show you a little bit of my, my work on this one. Somebody asked me how I made my patches. So maybe I'll do a little bit of job, a better job trying to explain how I actually go about making a patch. Anyway, that's it for now. We'll come back when I uh, get ready to go. All right, managed to get the old flange piece off successfully without drilling through the, uh, the metal. We've cleaned up this scabby piece down here. We've taken off uh, a couple of pieces down there on the ground. Tried to clean up this edge. I might try to run a bead of weld here just to seal this off. And we're going to call that good. It's not great, but uh, it'll be better than what was there. Anyway, let's create this, uh, this piece that goes back in here and we'll have to make a flange for that. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. So there's a couple different ways I'm thinking about doing this patch. Uh, one is to flatten it, so pound it flat, and then trace out the profile, cut it, and re-bend it. But since this has got a arch on the bottom of this flange, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. So I think what I'm going to do is uh, I'll probably do my usual, which is a two-piece uh, patch. So we'll create the flat piece of this patch with a flange, which we'll pick up here. And then I'll create the bottom piece and weld it to the flat piece and then grind that smooth. It'll, there'll be a little bit of weld showing on the inside. My Basically on this, this side you'll see the weld penetrating through but that's not really a big deal. You won't see much of that once the car is painted anyway. So I think that's what I'm going to do is create a two part patch. So we'll go over to the... Uh, to the uh, bench and we'll trace it out on some metal. Okay, here's the first piece we've got uh, traced out and again it's the flat sided piece. So I've left a little bit of extra material on the bottom because I know that I've got a little bit of a gap to fill from where I cut it so I can always grind down a little bit. So I wanted to give myself a little bit of extra edge on the bottom. Then we've got the fill in piece here where it's all rusted away and I've just basically hand drawn this over to where I believe the flange should be. So this is where we cut the flange off. So Again, this is going to have to be a flange that's bent over. So anyway, that's what that first patch is going to look like. So we're going to cut it out shortly. Uh, we got to make that secondary patch, which will be the bottom piece that will wrap around the flat piece once we get that flat piece cut out. So we're going to go ahead and cut the flat piece out, and uh, I'll give you a quick shot of that. So we've got our flat piece cut out, and we've just got it in our little bench vise. And we've got the line scribe where we need to put the flange. So all we're going to do is just bend it in our vise. We're going to probably hammer it flat and we'll finish it up on our little anvil hill to make a nice uh, 90 degree bend and then we'll fit it up and see how we did. Alright, we've got that first piece made and we've drilled some holes for the plug welds. So that's going to go something like that, roughly. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to make that wraparound bottom piece and weld that piece on. 
we'll grind it down and uh, make it look good and we'll come back and I'll show you where we're at. Alright and here's a quick shot of the uh, secondary patch that I've made which will be the wraparound piece and all I've done is I've just formed it, let me see if I can do this one handed, I've just formed it inside the old piece, alright something like that and you can sort of see the same sort of stock cutout shape so uh, we can always grind that a little deeper if need be, but I don't think it's a big deal. So what we'll do now is we'll just wrap that uh, previous piece we made, we'll tack weld it together, fit it up and see if it fits before we weld it up solid and grind it down. So here's where we're at on that patch now. So we've got it fitting up pretty good. As you can see I've welded that flange along the bottom or just tack welded along the bottom. So we're just uh, fitting it up and uh, it's lining up pretty darn good as you can see. So uh, I think what we're going to do now is we're going to finish weld that bottom piece. We may leave the top piece a little loose um, just so we can connect that flange up properly. We may need to bend it out or in a little bit to meet up with the flange nicely. But uh, anyway, we'll uh, weld it up uh, almost probably three quarters of the way up to that top tack anyway and we'll leave that top piece loose. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Alright, there's that bottom piece now all ground down nice and smooth. So it looks good. Got good penetration on the welds on the inside. So uh, we'll fit this up. And it's going to look something like this when we're done. So we're going to tack that in there. And again, the more, most important piece is to get this tip lined up in, in line. So we'll uh, tack it in carefully and uh, maybe do a little bending here and there to make sure it fits properly before we weld it in fully. Alright guys, we've got that ground down now and I think it looks not too bad. So we'll uh, consider that area done. Looks a lot better than this old rusty piece. So uh, whatever I do is going to be better. That's generally my motto. <laughs> Although that's not always the case. Anyway, I think it looks okay. Looks pretty good line wise. So we'll move on to some other area. Maybe we'll do a little bit of finish welding here. I can probably do that when I flip the car over on the other side. Anyway, that's it for now, guys. We'll talk to you in a bit. All right, guys, welcome back. Saturday, March 24th, just about 1.30 in the afternoon. And uh, picking up where we left off. And we're going to continue to move towards the front of the car. I think that looks pretty good in that area now. Uh, need a little bit of grinding up in this area here, so we're probably going to do that first. And then the next area we're going to look at is this little area at the front here where we've got a little bit of a crack in the uh, front valence. So we're probably going to maybe do a new flange. So we'll probably strip this old uh, wraparound flange piece off. We'll extend the flange here to the front valence and then just pound it over to wrap it around this edge. This is fairly solid in the front. It's a little rusty but we'll get that cleaned up. So I'll make this little area look a little bit better and uh, get it ready for some uh, bodywork in its future. That's what we're going to do today. I think what we're going to do, since this has a very significant dent here that I really won't be able to get into, to uh, I can't get a hammer in behind there to really punch that out properly. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this as a two-part repair. So uh, as I mentioned, we need to repair this sort of cracked area here and to build up this flange back over the top of this panel. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut out this uh, patch here just around this dent. We'll create a new piece of metal and we'll create a flange to go across there. So we'll cut it here down to here. We'll cut it along the edge of this, edge of this flange and then we'll replace the metal, weld it in and be good to go. So I'll show you that while we're in progress. Alright guys, there's the uh, patch area that we've uh, cut out and here's the uh, old material and you can probably see why I decided to cut it out. It's in not in the greatest of shape. Again it's got some evidence of some brazing in there as well here on the edge and you can see that significant dent in there and it's uh, pretty mangled up. So we'll put some fresh metal in there and we'll be happier that uh, we've gone ahead and done that. So we're going to bend up a little uh, or cut up a little piece of metal, bend it into shape, bend it by hand and then we'll weld it in. We'll bend that bottom flange probably just with a pair of pliers just belt, bend it back up and just hand form it and we should be good to go. So I'll bring you back. Okay, we've got our patch piece cut and uh, as I mentioned just hand bent so it fits in there nicely. 
then we'll weld along the flange. We need to add a little flange piece here, but I think that'll look good in the end. It'll look better than that uh, scrappy piece of metal. So we'll go ahead and start tacking this in. Guys, just a quick shot of that uh, patch tacked in there. And we have the new flange here just tacked in on the top. So we'll run a bead of weld there and a down along the edge. Obviously we'll finish this flange up here as well. So that's looking good. Then the last thing we'll need to do is bend up this little tab at the bottom to match what the uh, factory line looks like. So making progress, so we'll weld that up solid. All right guys, one more area repaired. I think that looks uh, much better than it did. Still have a little bit of a dent down in this area. I probably could have done a little bit uh, better job of widening out this patch, but anyway, well, a little bit of body filler and I'll take care of that. But uh, that new flange looks good, no more cracks. So uh, yeah, good contour. And we've bent up that bottom flange a little bit to match the uh, factory curve. It's not real uh, straight along the bottom here. It's a little wavy, but uh, we can correct that with a hammer and dolly as we go towards the uh, bodywork a little bit more. Anyway, so another part done. We'll move on to something else. All right, I decided to move back to the uh, center of the car and just for uh, orientation purposes, there's where I'm at. So I'm just on this rear body mount. Uh, to the uh, chassis and uh, it's detached actually it's not even welded here along the uh, edge it should probably be plug welded on here I'm actually going to do a seam weld right along the edge so I've just cleaned up the metal on the uh, inner sill actually this is the floor drop on this side and this uh, body mount so we're just going to run a bead of weld across here and a bead of weld across here and we're going to trim this flush with the bottom of the sill because it's a little bit proud of it here so we'll just grind that down to make it look uh, a little bit neater. So we're going to go ahead and uh, just tack weld those. We're going to do uh, probably a couple welds. Again, this one needs to be pulled up a little bit. It's pulled away from the, uh, the floor drop as well. So we're just going to secure all of those body mount locations and make sure they're welded solidly. And another little job done. It's just a little bead of weld on uh, each side. That should be good to go for another... 50 years, hopefully. So uh, we did the same on the uh, the front as well. Put a big bead up in there. So good to go there. Move on to another spot. All right, just coming up to uh, 6 p.m. and we pretty much now run from uh, back to front on the uh, driver's side and done uh, most of the repairs that we can see, uh, welding repairs that we can see at least on the uh, driver's side of the car. So it's, I think it's time to flip it over and start working uh, from back to front on the passenger side and do the same process. Um, there are some repairs that I still need to come back and do on the driver's side. I still haven't installed the sill cap. I did punch it in here, but I uh, need to do a little trimming here on the uh, rear of the sill before we get that fitting in there nicely. And I don't necessarily want to weld it with this wood close by. Um, so we'll come back and we'll do that at a later date. And again, there's a few other things that I need to do, but we'll uh, catch those at a later date as well. Anyway, so we'll uh, endeavor to uh, get this car flipped over on, its other, on the other side, but I think we're going to uh, call it an early evening. I'm not feeling 100% today, and I'm a little tired, so I think we might just go in and uh, recuperate for the evening, have a nice dinner, and get back out here early tomorrow morning. So that's it for tonight, guys. We'll uh, see how much footage we have and upload it. If not, you may see this tack to uh, tomorrow's video. Have a good night. Thanks for watching and subscribing and commenting. Good night. We've done some uh, repairs here, some repairs here, and some repairs up here.